I start from the bottom and it'll rarely hurt them. <laughs> Nobody will know. He's so sweet on the camera. Now this you should never ever use on a horse. Are you good? <laughs> Louis, my boots. Don't put it in your nose. <laughs> oh, somebody actually talked back to him. Louis. Hi guys, it's me and today we're, I'm going to show you how to groom a pony. So first, like, if you have like a rag, you have to take it off, of course. Um, so like, you have to, if your pony's clipped like Louis, don't use like any hard brushes, like, I can't think of any, but don't use any hard brushes. Uh, use me. And then, then you have to do the main, the tail, and the forelock. Louie, stop it. Yeah, the main tail and the forelock, then the hooves, so. Yeah, just like that. The hooves. Louie's hooves aren't so dirty, so I just want to make them dirty to show you, so let's go. Gosh, I stepped in poo. This is so slippery and I hate it. This isn't gonna make the hoose dirty, but they're gonna make, but it's gonna make it them dirty. Oh, oh gosh! Here, Louis, let's turn around now. A bit too slippery. Come on! That's the goat's field. Come on! No, that's an electric fence. No, not here. There, um, it's gonna wipe the mud off because there's like t tons of puddles. Right now, let's turn around again. I'm just gonna keep doing it. This is where we got to last time, I think. Louis, my boots. They're gonna get stuck stuck in the mud. Oh no. This is bad. They're just watching Louis. Good boy. What are you looking at? Careful. Don't slip, please. But where can I go where it's not too puddly like, or anything? Here. That's one thing I know for sure. They're still not too dirty, but I'll do. I think I'm gonna have to wash my hoof pick off with this. First you have to tie your horse up. So like, you get like a loop, like this. And then you put it through here, or pu pull it. Then like about like this size, then you get, then you put your hand through there. Yes, he's listening too. You, you put your hand through there. <laughs> you put your hand through, Louie, can I speak? Then you put your hand through there. Then you, then you like, and then like, you're holding this, and you just have to push it like that. And then you have to loop that through again, and then just keep repeating it over and over again until you reach the end of the lead rope. And, <laughs> and when you reach that end of the lead rope, don't like, don't like leave it like this. Like, make sure you have a bit left. So like this, so it'll be too short. But like this, then your last loop that you did and you think that you won't be able to do that, then you do that and then you just put that through like that. And your horse is tied up. Okay, now that your pony or horse, whatever you have, is tied up, we have to take the rug on. I mean off. So like, you're probably gonna know how to take a rug off, but sh yeah, it's just like watch. Louie, you're covering it up. <laughs> oh, Louis. Oh my goodness. 
Hold on, I've got stuck, something stuck in my eye. Okay, I'm good now. And if it's like a really cold day and you're outside, then like only do it like halfway, like, hold on. Oh yeah, and when you're putting it on, these have to be on a crisscross. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so if it's like a very cold day, then you can do it like halfway or like fully. I'm doing it like this because I have to show you how to do it. This is fun. Louie, I love you. Okay, oh gosh. Um. Nobody will know. Just gonna, so as I said, if your horse is clipped, like Louie is, but he starts, this isn't dirty, so don't worry. It's just his fur starting to grow. Yeah, so if your pony's clipped or a horse, use a dandy brush. Um, and the thing that you won't want to use on the whole body is probably going to be this. Yeah, this you might. This you can only use probably if on a clipped body if like it has any mud, because I use that on Louis. Now this you should never ever use on a horse. There were no purple ones, so that's it. You, you shouldn't use this one on a horse because it's very spiky. It could like really hurt them. But instead use them on the brushes. It's like you use it to clean the brushes. If like there's any like mud or hair from your horse or pony, you just flick it off like that. It works especially on the dandy brush because it's, a, it's like the biggest brush, like most bristles, if that makes sense. Yeah. So don't you, so don't ever use that on a horse. And don't use it on yourself too. And with a dandy brush, then you just kind of sort of like, kind of flick it like that. Louis is actually quite like dirty. He's got some hair starting to grow. So, yeah. So then you just go like that. Sometimes you do big moves like this, but like I sometimes prefer to do like small moves to get like all the all the stuff off, like hair and mud and stuff. So yeah, I love this color. It's so pretty. Good boy, Louie. Yes. And w what he's doing with his leg doesn't mean that his legs hurt. <laughs> it just means that some, um, sometimes they do this. I don't know why, but it doesn't mean that their leg hurts. Because Louis, <laughs> um, he was being lunged uh, like a couple. I don't know, but today he was being lunged. And he was so fast, so speedy when he was countering. And he he almost read up. So yeah. Good boy, Louie. Can you move your bum now? No, not like that. I mean like down, please, because I'm a bit short for you. <sighs> yeah, see, that hair is not attached to him. So I just have to flick it off. Yeah, so with a dandy brush, you just have to like, flick it off like all the hair and mud i wouldn't i mean it doesn't really work on mud but like it works like if there are only a, a tiny bit of mud <laughs> no <laughs> yeah it only works if there's like a tiny bit of mud but it mostly works on hair like i mean fur yeah this is a mud stain which i can't get out We'd have to wash him for that, but he's got like mud stains everywhere and it's too cold today. Please don't do it. Are you good? Yes, are you good? Good boy, Louis. Good boy, Louis. Right, once you finish that, then you can choose. You can either go onto the hoofs 
or the or the hair or my tail. But I usually do the hoofs last for some reason. I don't know why. Just in case they step on anything. If you do it, the hoofs first, then they might step on like a poo or something. Oh God, that's scary. me. Louis told me that I was there because he was looking up. That pigeon looks very unstable. Bye bye pigeon. So can I just squeeze under here? Yeah. Once you're finished with that, um, I do the men and tail. So, and I made, I made his mane go on one side, which is going to be way easier now. Except for this bit. I can't get that bit to go on this side. Like, it's so annoying. Stay, stay, stay. We need hairspray for that, but we, can't, we don't have any. So this is a main and tail brush with a forelock. So you just like brush it normally, like you would. When Louis, Louis hasn't got too much knots because I brushed it before. Before, do you want to sniff it? Don't put it in your nose. What are you doing? Yeah, so you just like use it like this. And um, on the main. Yeah, I, th I think that we should cut this a bit because it's not too even, but we don't have any scissors with us. Yeah, so you use it like you would on your hair, but my hair isn't that easy to cut. <laughs> um, Louis, hi. Yeah, and then once you're finished with your mane and your forelock, you can go onto the tail. So what I like to do with the tail, is like, because he's got quite a lot of knots in his tail, I think. So I like start from the, I start from the bottom. Then once the bottom has got no knots, then I move on there, there, then there. I'm gonna have to wash his tail as soon because that, yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, and we haven't washed him yet. That, and we also have to wash his, yeah, we have to technically just wash his tail. I'm finding all kinds of stuff in his tail today. I even found a leaf. And a bit of poo. And a bit of straw and hay. And now mud. Yeah, so just it's just when that when that has got no knots, then you move up. Like if you just like to do it like that or like that, then you can do it. But I just like to do it here. Yeah, I like to do it like that. He's got quite a long tail, so it's quite hard, it's quite tricky to do. <laughs> Louis talking to someone. <laughs> His tail's got knots, but not too much knots. So yeah, that's kind of good. So then I just keep moving up and up until I get to the very top of the tail, which is the dock. It's just, I didn't make that up. It's just called that for some reason. Yeah, I really like his tail because they go like blondish golden to like a mix sort of color then to, to like pure black. How do I look with black hair? I don't really like black hair. I like my brownish, blondish colored hair. Right, so now once you're finished all of all of that, um, 
we're gonna do the face if you have a face brush so a face brush is like a teeny weeny small brush kind of looks like a dandy brush but it's not and it's a bit harder but hello louis is sweet louis louis acts so sweet on the camera but actually in real life sometimes he's actually quite grumpy <laughs> he's so sweet on the camera when he knows there's nobody watching him I well, just like that then <laughs> Air is back all the time. Face, very weird. Oh my gosh, that puddle. But he's actually quite sweet when the camera isn't, but now he's extra sweet. <laughs> Lily, look at me, please. I don't know, like, cause he's got like actually quite a lot of fur here. Like, so I just have to lift his forelock up. Lily, stay. Boy. Yeah. And Louis got like tons of grey hairs on him, but like none of them are his. It comes out so easy. So easily. Okay, right. Now, finally time for the hoofs. So I used to start with the back ones. I don't know why, but I just do. Gosh, your hooves are so dirty. Not even the inside, but the outside. Yeah, so you never do this part, because that's the frog. That's the soft bit, even though it doesn't feel soft. It's soft, and if you do it with this, with this, like that, then it'll really hurt them. Don't worry, do we? Yeah, make sure you do all four properly. Because otherwise then, it might be a problem if you don't. Boy, Louis. So Louis has this thing called um called a horseshoe. I'm not sure if your pony or horse has it, but yeah. And then like you see these edges here, you have to clean those very well, or else it's going to be uncomfortable for your pony or your horse. Because you have to clean their hoofs like every day, and especially if your horse has um, horseshoes, because these edges, yeah. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Yeah, and then just the same with the other one. And also you have to make sure that you clean it in here, like in between here. That's the first place where you should do it. Once you're finished grooming, you have to put all of your stuff back in your, the bag, the grooming bag, or like anywhere you got it from. And then you have to put the rug back on your pony, and your pony's gonna be all nice and cozy. And that's it for today. And make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe because that means a lot to me and him. And also turn on the notifications, this little bell, so you won't miss any of my videos. So once again, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh. Excuse me. No.
don't push me. 